Hello everyone, Roy Karkov here. Today I'm going to do another um, black and white photo with Marshall Photo Oils. So this black and white photo was printed with a light jet on Fuji Crystal Archive photo paper, which takes the oils really well. You can still wipe it off as we, as we will see later. So Marshall Photo Oils have been around since the early last century and are dedicated oils for this kind of work, to color black and white photographs. So, let's do it. Let's start with sky blue. So most of these colors are actually named after um, that you can use the colors for, like sky blue. There's also, or they're named after like your know, cerise, cherry. So I like to start with big surfaces first, so I don't have to deal, like accidentally get rid of details later. So we're going to color this using cotton rounds and Q-tips. And maybe for detailed work, the very pointy eye tees. So let's start with a cotton round, sky blue, and put the color on. So this was this is actually um, Moonlight State Beach. The photo I shot it not too long ago. Um, but as you can see, when I turn it black and white, I actually, it's hard to see here because it's already very light, but you can see I gave it a white vignette to give it like a more old fashioned look. And I want to keep that in mind up here. So right now I'm still just putting the colors on the same amount in the corners, but we're going to make sure that we'll get that white vignette back there by removing the paint later. So we'll put it on very roughly. You can see there's a lot of brush strokes or is it cotton round strokes? So this is also well, so Moonlight State Beach actually is in Encinitas, California. It's a very popular beach for both tourists and people that live around here. You can see I'm not going over the ocean yet, but I'll, you know what, I'll just add that same color here too. It's actually the, the gray values that change like the perception of the color. It's the same color I put on, but the gray is desaturated. And you can see I'm also just going over the breaking waves, but because this paint removes so easily from this type of paper, I'm going to remove it later. And then this is still wet sand. Let's just, just add that same blue here too. There we go. It's probably all the blues we want. So now we're going to smooth it out a little bit. Gonna take a clean cotton round and just very gently 
I get rid of these uh, brush strokes. Okay, now I'll go this way. Just looking at it from a from a distance and it's okay to have some structure in here, like it shows that it's hand colored. But it's also nice to have a nice clear blue sky. Okay, and the ocean too, although with the ocean we don't have to be that precise. There's a lot of structure in here already. Okay, so it is nice to have a little bit of a gradient. So let's make it a little lighter. I'm pushing a little bit harder now, just above the horizon. And then we'll push less hard as we go up. A little harder here. Make it a very light blue. Okay, it's pretty good. So now let's put back that white vignette. Push it really hard in the corner and then less as we go in. clean one and move it a little more here there we go pretty good on the other side Let's see, it's a little bit even. I think it is. Ok. 
Okay. Let's make it a little lighter here in the front. Okay. And now we take Q-tip and then remove it from these breaking waves here. Just like that. Let's see, maybe here. Some little waves here. Like that. See how easy that is? It's much easier to remove this later where we don't want it than to prevent going over it when we colored it in the beginning. A little bit there. Some tiny waves here. Let's use the ITs for this. So there's a very pointy Q-tip. There. Always look so much better when you Put back in some highlights like this. There we go. Maybe over here. And on this side. Yeah, look at that. So let's see this a little bit on the tower. There. Perfect. The palm tree. The famous palm tree. Let's take some oxide green. Are we gonna do that with a cotton round? Maybe just the in the middle, and then on the edges, we're gonna add the color with the Q-tips. Now, of course, we have to be a little careful where two colors come together. Okay, that's good. Let's grab a Q-tip. And just follow the palm front. There was a little blue here, but it, it comes off when we put on the next color, the green. Trying to retain some of the blue that's here. Okay, good. Okay, let's grab a little bit of yellow. Oops, that's way too much. I always do that. Okay, and let's just add some 
touches of yellow here. And I believe the lifeguard tower is also very light yellow, so let's add some of that to the tower. There we go. Maybe it's a little too much. Let's grab this this cotton rod and just push it on, taking off some of that paint. But being careful not to go over the blue. There, I think that's good. Then burnt sienna for the sand for the beach. Favorite go to color for the beach. Clean cotton round. There we go. And then again, we'll take care of that white vignette after we put this paint on. I guess I don't have to go all the way in the corner like I did earlier in the sky. By the way, this here is, is Cottonwood Creek that runs into the ocean. And Cottonwood Creek was the reason why Encinitas developed here. Like um, the Southern California Railroad that went from National City in the south to all the way to Barstow. Those locomotives used to stop here for water. Actually, I have a little video where I color the old Encinitas train depot with pastels. Um, that helped develop the town of Encinitas. Okay, so I'm actually kind of smoothing it out already now. Let's take another clean cotton round. And heading back in that vignette. And same on this side.
a little bit here too. Still have some paint here from, oh wait, I was just making a big mess. All right. Okay, good. I still, I hope it didn't mess so get rid of all that green, but I would like to pick some up of that green and put it here. from the creek. Maybe leave that white, like it's reflecting. Um, but I do want to add some of that blue to this canopy. Not too much. Maybe this one too. It. And then, let's see, since we have some yellow still-ish in this mess here, add that to this umbrella. There we go. And then one last thing, I want to make it a little lighter, that burnt sienna on the concrete here. Like that. And then the very last thing, let's remove that white from the volleyball net here. Actually, not remove the white, bring back the white. This pole. And it's all finished. So I also coated it with this acrylic based finish, a cracular texture coating, which gives it a nice feel to it. And it doesn't have the reflection that glass has. And I put it in this bonnet frame. So I hope you liked the video. Please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.